Oh, hello and welcome. My name is James Craven and this is the HD template setup video. Okay, let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to want to do to get started is to open up your HTML editor. And I'm using PageBreeze as an example and this is what I'll be using. Okay. Um, the second thing you're going to want to do is to ensure that all the information, meta tags, autoresponder codes, video codes, title, subtitle, copy, everything that you need to insert on your title, on your template, is put on one text document, one text document only. The reason for this, it just makes things a lot easier moving forward. So I'm going to show you as an example. I have my meta, meta information, title, subtitle, copy, video code, and autoresponder code, all put on one text document. It makes things much easier. Okay, you'll see as we move forward along. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to open up your template. So let's come up here to file, up here in the left hand corner. Click on file and let's click on open. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is to find your template wherever you have that stored. So I have mine stored in HD template 9. So I'm just going to left click on index, open it up. And it should open right up into your HTML editor. If it did not, go back and try it once again. Okay, the next thing, as soon as you have this open, the first thing that we're going to want to do is change the um, copyright information. So you have the right to change this to whatever you want. And a good idea is to put the name of your primary website. So as many links pointing back to that as possible. It's always a great thing. Brings more traffic. Definitely is something that you're going to want to do. Okay, so let's change. I'm just going to retype in gvotemplates.com okay so once you have that done uh, we're gonna want to change the meta tags next so come up here to HTML source click on it and let's bring this back up so you're gonna want to find the title very easy to find it's the beginning of the code and it's right here on the left hand side so just let's let's left, left left click behind title I'm gonna backspace it and I'm gonna put type in what I want to show up in the browser Okay, so gvotemplates.com. That's that's what you'll see in the in the browser on the Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever you use as your primary search engine. Okay, so um, normally the meta tag would go right below the title, but because PageBreeze and so many other HTML editors are very temperamental when it comes to inserting code, you cannot do this. So let me show you what'll happen if I put it right beneath the title information. Let me. Let's see, I'll bring up my text information. So all you're going to be using, you can exclude your title uh, meta information. What we're going to be using is your keyword content and the description content. So I'm going to highlight all that, copy it, and I'm going to insert it right behind the title, right beneath it. So let me show you what happens. See what happened? Page Breeze took the liberty of changing the look of my text. So you don't want this to happen. So for whatever reason, this is what occurs. So let's just delete all this information I just put in there. Right up to there. Delete that. Okay, now, what you're going to want to put it is right beneath the style sheet and right behind the head. So just left click right behind the head. Edit. Paste. Okay, now just click enter, put the head right back where it should be. Okay, and let's have a look to see how it looks. See, everything, all the text is back the way it was. Okay, everything looks good. See, now your meta information is inserted. Let's come up here and click save. Okay, now you're ready for the next step. So, what we're going to want to do next is to change our copy. So, let's start with the title. So I'm going to, you know, just left click behind it, highlight it, and then click delete on your keyboard. Now, I'm going to write in what I want for a uh, title. I'm just going to use an example, gvotemplates.com. I'm going to highlight that. I want that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change, and maybe in bold lettering. But it's off that. It's a little bit too big for that. So let me back that up just a little bit. Okay, uh, it's just hanging over the edge just a little bit. That's okay. It looks good. So the next thing we want to do is change the subtitle. So let's left click behind it, highlight that, then click delete. Come down here to your text document and grab your subtitle. I'll copy that. 
Make sure it goes into the same place that you deleted the example subtitle. I right, paste that in there. Okay. All right, looking good. So now we're going to want to delete this, and we're going to want to put it right beneath the subtitle. I can see it's going to be large lettering, but that's okay. I can change that. So let's highlight this, copy it, and let's paste that in there. Yeah, I thought so. Let me just change this right quick. And let's highlight this. Let's change this. Uh, Georgia, I like Georgia. Let's put this three. Yeah, that's good right there. All right. So I back that up so it's right beneath that. That looks good. Uh, oh, is it better like that? Like this. Maybe I'll underline this. Okay, that looks good. All right, the next step is we're going to want to get rid of the rest of this information here. So I'm going to left click, highlight, delete. And a good idea is to put something to, um, to let your subscribers know that their information is going to be safe. So I'm just going to write in your information will not be shared with anyone for any reason period I'm going to change this text around a little bit so let's let's put this in italics and a bold lettering okay I that looks good there all right let's change this as well good thing to put up top here is is the you know whatever you're giving away for free or whatever the incentive you're giving to your subscribers to sign on to your list so I'm going to just put in 100 free word press templates okay now now we're gonna want to insert our code attempt our video code and our autoresponder code so all this information has got to go so let's left click highlight delete you're going to do follow the same process all the way down get rid of all this information so left click this now you're going to hit cut so there's no delete you're just cutting these pictures out of there okay these images all right now I want you to write in in capital letters so it makes it easy to find and I'll tell you why we're doing this in a moment we're gonna write in auto responder code okay same thing with the video okay this image has got to go so we're gonna left click right click cut and up here in the left hand corner write in HD template code Okay, the reason for this is because um, PageBreeze is very temperamental. It is long, you know, many HTML editors are, if I've, as I've said before. It's just, um, so what we're going to be doing is using Notepad to insert our code. Um, and you'll see why it is very simple, very easy to do. And I'll show you in just a moment. Um, so once you have this completed, you have your autoresponder code, your HC template code, all this, and you have to ensure that all your text is just the way you want it. Before you continue on, ensure, double check, make sure your text and your copy is perfect. Because you're not going to be able to go back in and change it with ease because these codes are going to make things a lot more difficult in a free HTML editor. Okay, if you had Expression Web front page, or um, or any other paid HTML editors, you wouldn't have a problem. But because uh, these free HTML editors are very sensitive, you're gonna want to make sure that all your text is perfect up until this point. So as soon as you're sure everything looks good and everything is the way it should be, everything is the way you want it, just come up here and click Save. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to your file where you ever have your template stored I have mine stored in HD template 9 you're gonna left click on index right click and then we're gonna open it with 
notepad okay so now your code comes right up onto this document so what we're going to want to do is locate the HT template code what we had typed in okay now here it is left click right behind it now come down and get your information text okay we're going to want to copy our code so let's grab the video code so I'm just going to highlight this and copy it and now open this back up AC I'm going to backspace so you can highlight it and delete it if you prefer and I'll just press control V okay now let's do the same thing for the autoresponder code just left click right behind it come down here grab your code copy it open notepad back up there's the autoresponder code I'm going to backspace that it's easier for me and control V now we're just going to come up here to file save it let's close this out and left click on index now we're going to see what it looks like on Internet Explorer make sure everything's the way it should All right, let's double click it'll open right up on Internet Explorer so now it comes up with this click here for options ActiveX don't not to worry as soon as you upload this to your FTP account to your hosting account you'll no longer have this will no longer appear okay let's allow this make sure our video showed up okay the video is there I know my autoresponder code works everything looks perfect everything looks just as it should okay well that's it for this template setup video um, what you're going to want to do next is to go down to the FTP upload video and I will teach you how to upload your template to your hosting account. Thank you very much and have a great day.